To write the name for Fe2S3, we first need to recognize that we have metals and nonmetals here. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal bonded together, we we'll consider that to be an ionic compound, and we're going to use these rules here to write the name. So we're going to write the name of the metal first, just as it appears on the periodic table. Fe, that's iron. Next, we'll write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table, lowercase s. So now that we have that name, we replace the ending with IDE. Cross this out, IDE. So at this point, we have iron sulfide. But iron, that's a transition metal. So if we look at the periodic table here, iron's right about here on the periodic table. It's a transition metal. Because of that, we don't really know the charge on the iron here. We have to look at what it's bonded to. In Fe2S3, it's bonded to sulfur. So we find sulfur here. Sulfur, when it forms bonds, each sulfur here is going to have a 2 minus ionic charge. So the whole thing needs to be neutral. So 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. So we need a 6 plus to balance the charge out. 2 times 3 plus, that would give us 6 plus. So the charge on each one of those ions, that's going to be 3 plus. Because of that, we're going to write a Roman numeral 3 right between the iron and the sulfide. So this 3 plus, that's why we're writing this Roman numeral here, to show the charge on each one of these irons in Fe2S3. So the name for Fe2S3 is iron 3 sulfide. This is Dr. B with the name for Fe2S3. Thanks for watching.